Hello my beautiful chameleons and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph. Today's video, as you would have seen by the title, is a super exciting collab with my beautiful sister, friend, Erica Conga. You will find both Erica's channel and her video listed, listed, linked in the description box below. And um, before we go any further, if you hear some strange noises in the background, there is a huge block of something flats, houses being built across the road. It's super noisy. I can't escape that. So apologies if you do hear noise. Um, but yeah, me and Erica have wanted to collab again for a good while. Um, I've wanted to try Vizia for a long time, mainly just to see if it's really worth the hype and the price tag that it comes with, but I didn't want to spend out the money. I also know that Erica has really wanted to try Vizia also. So when I saw someone on Vinted selling two Vizia palettes for a hugely reduced price, I jumped at the chance. I cannot for the life of me remember the name of the palette that I sent to Erica. It was a Vizia one. Um, but the one I have is the Paris Edit. This is the box. Uh, the names of the shades are on the back of the box, so I will be keeping the box because there are no shade names inside. Um, this is what the palette looks like. I am in love with this packaging. It is so super cute. So you pull up the little thing and then it's in there. It does have this plastic covering. I dropped mine so there's a little chip in one of them. I'm clumsy, what more can I say? Um, but I do like that it has this in this particular palette. Usually I don't keep plastic slips, but this is more like a little kind of box protector. Box protector? Yeah. Um, so yes, we will make a start. I will have a chat with you about my beautiful sister, Erica, and what I think of Fizzy Up. So I'm gonna stop rambling now. I'm gonna get started. Let's remove the little protective box thing. My English is wonderful, as you can tell. Um, so I've got the little box here with the names. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Obviously, it is pretty much out of my comfort zone being quite a neutral palette. Um, but I wasn't going to spend out the price for a colourful one. Um, I just, I waited for the opportunity to arise to get one at a reduced price. I'm a bargain hunter. Yeah. I'm a bargain hunter. Um, so, I think I'm going to, hmm, what am I going to do? I'm going to start with, what are you called? P petal? Oh, crikey, these are all in French. Um, pe petal? Pe petal? This one. This one up here. So, Let's find a brush. We'll get started and we'll get chatting. So I'm going to take a Made by Mitchell ME3. Love these brushes. Um, and yeah, so I first met Erica um, through not just her being a subscriber on my channel, but also through the... Um, the comment sections of others channels like their videos and she just always was so supportive so just really kind and genuine lovely to talk to um she reached out to me um to let me know she was there because for those of you who don't know me um i suffer with complex regional pain syndrome um so I can have a really hard time of it sometimes with the pain, <laughs> a lot of the time. So yeah, she reached out to me. She let me know if I ever needed anyone to talk to. Just, that's Jace moaning. Um, if I ever needed anyone, she gave me her email address. We started chatting. She said she wanted to start her own channel. Um, and of course I was like, yep, go for it. I'll help because I remember starting my channel and how much it meant to me and just how much it helped having someone 
already doing it because it was the wonderful Debbie Vinyl Beauty that helped me get my channel say help she gave me a huge kick up the ass um but she also helped me get it up and and running some amazing advice um and I knew how valuable that had been to me personally so I wanted to kind of pay that forward I, if I could help somebody to start up a channel something that was gonna I don't know, make their life more fulfilled like it has for me um then I wanted to do that um so yeah we we were chatting a lot and the more we chatted the more we realized we were super super similar um and when I say similar I mean <laughs> she's I've never met anyone else that I can say makes she's like me <laughs> Um, both my daughter Kira and her, her son Brayden have said, you know, like Kira said, Erica's the American me. Brayden said, I'm like the English Erica, um, which is hilarious. And we just discovered we were so similar. We had so much in common, um, right down to our favorite book. Um, we both share the same favorite book and it's from Mark Billingham, who's an amazing author um, and it's called Sleepyhead. Now if you are into kind of crime thriller kind of books along those lines um, I highly recommend it, highly highly recommend it. It is such an amazing book and then my daughter's recently found in the charity shop for me um, the prequel to that book, Cry Baby, so that is my next book to read. Um, and of course, when I finish that, I will send that over to Erica so she can also read the prequel to our favourite book. So that that's super exciting. But yeah, we've got so much in common, even down to like our cats. She has Reggie, I have Mr. Fluff. You see Mr. Fluff in the background? He's got his back to the camera. Um, they're like twins. They look pretty much identical apart from the colour of their eyes it's so funny and uh, yeah it just surprised I think both of us as time went on just how how similar we are and very very quickly we became family I mean she's she's my sister and our families we're all close I've not just gained a sister I have gained a brother-in-law gorgeous nephews beautiful niece and yeah it is just so wonderful to to have that and I adore them all so very much so very much um Erica just as a person is one of the most supportive so I'm topping this up, but then it is a very light shade. She is one of the most supportive, caring, genuine people I've ever met in my life. Um, she would literally do anything for anyone. And she is always supporting other channels, collabing with other creators, um, really kind of promoting people. I mean, not promoting people. How would you say it? Just talking about other creators getting their names out there letting other people know they're there and she's just so positive and just like a ray of sunshine she tells amazing stories um which leads me to her new series that she is going to be starting um i believe in february and it is true crime and she's going to be um covering well covering talking about um crime from oregon which is the the state she lives in um so i'm super excited about that there's another thing we have in common our interest in psychology um sadly i haven't been able to complete my degree in psychology due to my declining health um but psychology has always been a huge interest to me like how the mind works how just 
people in general, the brain, how, how it works, how people think about things, feel about things, react to the world around them. And Erica actually has a degree in psychology. And so, yeah, we're both very interested in true crime. So this series that she is starting is hugely interesting to me. This colour is so pretty. And it's just blended beautifully. It's, it probably didn't need as much topping up as I've done, but um, I'm not really used to such a... I'm going to shut up there. Let's carry on, Steph. So, <laughs> let's, let's go into the next shade. Um, what am I going to go in with next? What are you called? Fleur. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm not laughing at the name. It's just that I've been watching Harry Potter and there's Fleur Delacour. Um, this is Fleur. This is the one I'm going into next. And I'm using a made by Mitchell ME1. So yeah, Erica and I speak ev pretty much every day. I think not always on a Sunday and then Saturdays she's always at my Karma Chameleon um, which if you don't know what that is it's a series that I run um, on a Saturday 3pm UK time it's a live um, I've almost always got a guest on there with me usually one of my beautiful chameleons um, and it's a series it's makeup for mental health and basically we just kind of get together chat makeup do makeup chat live and it's just a really chilled place just to kind of get with other people and Erica's always been so supportive of it and is always there and so yeah we but we speak every day pretty much I like this. Erica always calls me before she gets ready for work in the mornings. So, well, I say it's mornings for her. <laughs> um, here it's like early afternoon, just like lunchtime. And I look forward to that every day. It's always so nice just to chat, see how each other's doing. Sometimes one of us has a, a rant or a cry or, you know, it's just sisters chatting and I appreciate her more, more than she knows, I think. I don't think she realises how much it means to me, her support. Or maybe she does. I don't know. This is a really pretty colour too. I love these like movie tones, so I'm... I'm not mad at this being more neutral because it's more of the the tones that I enjoy. Very pretty. That beeping, that's next door's microwave. That's how thin our walls are. Um, okay, yeah, I, this is pretty. So I think next I'm going to go into Cerise, which is this slightly deeper, slightly deeper, it's a lot deeper shade and I'm going to take that, check me out remembering to say what brushes I'm using. I am taking that on a P. Louise hashtag 112. I love these brushes also, they're really good. Um, so yeah, where was I? Um, but yeah, so we, t we talk every day and um, Erica's channel, if you haven't been over and seen, if you if you don't know Erica's channel, which if you know my channel, then I'm pretty sure you definitely do. But just in case you don't, um, Erica does a lot of different style videos, obviously makeup, makeup related. Um, she does a lot of different ones and like, would I repurchase this kind of videos? And she recently did one on like friend mail gifts she'd got throughout December. She does a lot of like trying different eyeshadow palettes, different makeup. Thank you, computer. Um, so yeah, it's a really kind of nice varied varied channel varied makeup related channel 
I'm terrible at explaining things. So bad. And it's been a good while since we collabed and we do intend on making it more regular because it's always so much fun. I, I do love collabing with Erica. I'm really enjoying these shades. And okay, so it, the blend is literally seamless without really trying. Okay. I'm glad I went in with an open mind. I kind of, I think I've always kind of thought, oh, you know, does it warrant such a high price tag? Especially when you've got some amazing indie brands with just such amazing formulas for a fraction of the price of, of these palettes. Obviously, I'm judging it based on how much I spent, which was a significant amount less than if I were to have bought it, say, from the store, etc. But I, I do have to say I'm really enjoying it. It's difficult for me to comment on whether or not I think it's worth the high price tag it sells for. I'd probably say um, I don't think, I don't really think any of them warrant such huge price tags. Obviously the company needs to make a profit on what they're making. But then you've got small indie brands that charge a lot less and still have such amazing formulas and these are one person owned brands like small indie brands so i don't think any of these brands warrant the extremely high price tag but i can't complain about the quality so far because it's performing beautifully really beautifully am i staying in shot here i do hope so um anyway i completely lost my my train of thought there i think we were talking about collabs um so yeah hopefully we're going to be doing that a lot more frequently i'm wondering what erica has thought of this formula and whether she agrees with me price tag wise I guess we'll find out. Um, so yeah, guys, after after you've watched this, obviously, please head over and watch Erica's video. I know it's going to be awesome. I'm rambling a bit because when I talk about Erica and her family and how much they mean to me, and I can get really emotional. And I... I'm attempting not to sit and bore my eyes out like I did on Christmas Day on call to them. I think poor Braden was like, um, what is that? Is I'm, I just started bawling, but that's me. I'm, I'm an emotional person. I'm a crier. I can't help it. I can't escape that. Okay, this is this is really pretty. I'm gonna go back in with the brush for the middle shade and just go over the edge of this deeper one. Not that it really needs much. Because it's pretty much blended itself. So what do you guys think of Physia? Have you tried their formula? What do you think of it? And I haven't tried the shimmers yet, obviously you can see that. So I'm intrigued to see what the shimmers perform like because these mattes really are, they're really beautiful, really beautiful. And then back in with the first brush, I've just tapped in slightly just because I wanna really buff the edges and it is such a, kind of pale shade so I can get away with it. I'm so used to playing with such like bright and 
bold colours that I kind of don't always know what to do with these or neutral ones. Hence I started, well, that's not why I started the series. Um, everyone keeps saying to me how um, brown is a, a colour also and that I should give neutrals a bit more of a go. So I've started a series. Um, I've actually filmed the first one, Steph Does Neutral, but I haven't edited it yet because this last week um, I've struggled a lot. We've had quite bad flare-ups with the pain, so I've not really gotten much done. It's been a very unproductive week. A lot of sleeplessness. <laughs> Sleep-deprived stuff. Um, yeah. Ooh -hoo. Okay. So, so far, the mat's beautiful. Right. Have I got fallout? I hope not. I keep forgetting that I've done my uh, I've done my base first. I am going to go on the outer part of my lid with oh crikey, Twi Tuileries. You don't know how you say that. This one here, and let's have a see. So I am I'm intrigued. Okay, picks up really well on the brush. So let's have a look. It's a very pretty colour. I'm not expecting them to be overly metallic and yeah, this this isn't overly metallic. <sighs> okay, fallout. Okay, that fallout. I brushed away easy enough. Tap off the brush stuff. I'm so used to it doing my eyes first maybe i should have done um this is like a very pretty shimmer more of like a satiny shimmer i would say um this particular one um but i do love the color it does appear to be applying nicely but yeah we'll see yeah i definitely would say this is more of a satin than a shimmer um generally not really my favorite on the lid i really do like at the least just like a real shine yeah it's a beautiful shade so this next shimmer is probably the first one that caught my eye and it is called opera I can pronounce that and it's this one here and now this one does look like it's going to be more of a shiny shimmer so let's let's see <laughs> let's hope and this is going to go on the inner inner part remember to tap off the brush it's got a bit more of a shine. I don't know if that shows up more because it is such light shade as well. Yeah, it's definitely more satin looking still though. I mean, I know I'm I'm spoiled with such amazing shimmers from the indie brands that I'm used to using. Okay, I I think I'm gonna try spraying the brush because yeah, these shimmers aren't really doing anything for me. I feel like I may as well have just done a matte look. So I'm gonna, I've taken it on the brush, gonna give it quick spray and then let's see if this makes any difference a little bit maybe okay, the, the mats are way more impressive than the shimmers I do 
have to say that straight off the bat. Okay, well that definitely looks better applied with a damp brush. You can see the difference. So yeah, get the other eye down. Yeah, definitely spray the brush if you want any kind of shine, otherwise you're looking at very satin looking, satin looking shades. Okay, I think that's pretty much all we're going to get out of that. Yeah, not quite as impressed with the shimmers. but that's okay. So I'm going to first go into Cerise, which is that the deepest of the mattes, and use the right side of the brush. And I'm just going to stamp that literally right up against the lash line. There. Yeah, these mats are performing beautifully. I have zero complaints with the mats. I'm not sure what that is. It looks a little funky. Hmm. Yeah, not not sold on the shimmers, I'm afraid. Um but never mind. These mats really are beautiful, really beautiful. Is this something that, for those of you that have tried Vizia or do love Vizia, is this a thing? Is it, is it the mats that they're known for? I do have to be honest, since I haven't really seen much in the way of people using busy art just I mean purely because th their palettes do tend to be more on the neutral side it's not generally my thing but we're giving it a go um all right let's I want to try something else do I yeah um I'm going to go into what are you called I'm going to go into Tool, Tule, Tule. Uh, this one here, yeah, that one, um, and I'm going to use that to just buff out the edge of the one under. Okay. Yeah, I do have to say these mats pretty much do blend themselves. They are beautiful. I wonder how Erica is getting on with her one. Yeah, I can't remember for the life of me what it was called. Uh, it's gone. I know that this palette out of the two was the least neutral. If that makes sense. Um, hence why this is the one I kept hold of. I know that Erica does love neutrals. So I didn't feel bad sending her the, the more neutral one. That sounds bad, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, I do love how these mats are performing. They really are performing beautiful. I'm just going to just tap the edge of it because I don't want to really kind of blend out the deeper shade. I don't want to make it too deep under there, but I do want it to mesh a bit. There we go. I'm gonna go back into what are you called? Um, opera, the one, the slightly shinier one, on my lid. And again, I am gonna spray it. I, I've just realised I've been so good with what brushes I used until I got to the shimmers. So for the one on my outer part of my lid, I used a Lois Cosmetics um, kind of flat brush. 
and then for the one on the main part the inner part of my lid it's a morphe flat brush and then for the deep shade right up against the lash line i used a zoeva 226 smudger for the paler shade on the bottom it's a little morphe pencil brush and now i'm using a morphe m149 um for the shimmer on the lower lash line crikey i made that way more difficult than it needed to be um so yeah giving that spray just pop in a little bit a little bit under there yeah definitely not not that impressed by the shimmers and when i say not that impressed i'm really not impressed by the shimmers but it's okay i mean it looks pretty it definitely needed spraying because it, it was just like putting a satin on without spraying it so let's go full for the inner corner and brow bone highlight i am going to go in with the only one really that stands out for that and that is champs elise's this one so yes i'm gonna also spray that and hope that it has enough shine to be a good inner corner highlight we'll see can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I think so. Um, oh, this is a bit better. Yeah, that's definitely better. Is it just this palette, or are all of the shimmers more like like this? I don't know. And then I pop a bit under my brow a little bit just to oh, not that you can really put much oh there we go actually that's not too bad at all oh okay i'm not mad at that i'm not mad at that at all i quite like the look so i am going to nip off finish my face and then i will come back and i will show you the finished look we'll have a chat let you know what my first impressions are if you don't know that already so yeah if you would like to see that and hear that then don't go anywhere okay guys so i'm back with the finished look let me know what you think in the comment section below before we chat anymore i'm just gonna let you know a few of the bits i popped on my face so let's go with face bits first so for blush i went in with the pout and shout blush typhoid mary and this is the shade absolutely stunning um if you're not new to my channel you will know that pout and shout's blush formula is my absolute favorite um she's a super tiny uk indie brand um in order to order from her you need to dm her on instagram um i will make sure that her instagram is linked in the description box below so that you can head over there if you want to check her out but i love this and i love how the it's all hand painted look and it says stay home save nine lives cool and quirky and then for highlighter i went into my odin's eyes solmona I'm sure Marina will let me know if I've said that right. Solmonne. Marina, is that right? Um, this is the highlighter palette. And I went in with this shade here. Oh, he's talking to his wall. It's okay. Um, super pretty shade. I thought it went beautifully. And then on to eyes. So for the liner on the top i wanted something a little softer than just a harsh black liner so i went in with my colourpop cream gel liner i think it's called visuals the 
<laughs> the writing wipes off really easy on these so wipes off has worn off um but yes yeah, so this is what i used for my liner on the top and then in my waterline i used the made by mitchell all smudge no budge liner in the shade pink drink love these liners they're so good um the mascara i went in with was the elf lash and roll mascara i've been really really enjoying this super i love it um i've been wearing it on its own as well although i do actually have lashes on today you can probably tell that um these are from artitude cosmetics they're the style shorty i love them they're great for a uh, a more what I call neutral look the more a softer look beautiful I love these lashes um, and then where are we at lipstick um, I use the melt matte lipstick in the shade Stepford these bullet lipsticks from melt are amazing I love them and so my thoughts on the Vizier Paris edit palette um, how much are they actually to buy new? One moment. Okay, so this is £30 to buy um, online or in store. Um, do I think it's worth £30? Personally, no. I think the mattes performed beautifully. The shimmers... Um, I, if I'm honest, I've used better shimmers from Revolution, but that's my personal experience so far. This is the only palette I've tried. This is my only experience to go by. The mattes, absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Um, but yeah, the so far not not impressed with the shimmers, but. I'm not mad at the look. I do actually really like the look. I'm happy with overall how it came out. I love the packaging. The The packaging is super cute. I do wish that maybe on a part of this they put the names of the shadows so that I don't have to keep the box because I generally don't keep the boxes for most palettes. Um, but obviously in this case I'm going to have to if I want to know what they're called. Um, but yeah, I love the packaging. I love how cute it is and how that undoes. I do appreciate the protective box lid thing. Um, yeah, so overall, it was a good experience. I wouldn't pay £30 for it, but I'm glad I have it. I am going to use it again. I'm going to hopefully people will have some advice on how to make the shimmers look nicer maybe i'm working with them in the wrong way um let me know what you think and what your experiences of Vizia are what you think of this look um and then on to erica my beautiful sister i am so thrilled to be doing this collab another collab um and hopefully many many more to come um but for any of you that haven't discovered Erica yet, please, please head over her channel, her video. They'll be linked in the description box below. You are going to love her. I, I can't imagine anyone not loving Erica. She just has this huge heart. When you watch her videos, it you're pulled into this feeling of being sat in the room with a friend. You, you sat chatting and... It's really comfortable, she's so warm and just a beautiful person inside and out. Her confidence with colour has grown massively. She uses so many different colours now and she just creates really beautiful looks. So yeah guys, if you don't know who she is, you need to head over, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. She deserves all of it and more. And yeah, if you're into true crime, then you're definitely going to want to be subscribed because her true crime series, Oregon True Crime, is coming soon. Next month. Fingers crossed. I'm looking forward to it anyway. Erica, thank you so, so much for collabing with me. And just thank you so, so much for being such a huge, important, wonderful part of my life. And for bringing your wonderful family into my life and for them accepting accepting me as family and being the best 
just wonderful Auntie Takira that we could ask for. Thank you. I love you so much. And yeah, guys, if you are new here, if you are over from Erica's channel, I really hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, then I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing, coming and joining my beautiful chameleon family. Um, generally, I do more colourful looks. Um, I'm more into indie brands than anything else. Excuse you, Mr. Fluff. Um, yeah, more... Are you alright there? Are you okay there? Can I carry on now? Yeah? Thank you. Um, <laughs> I love indie brands. I love colour. Yeah. If that sounds like something you enjoy, please do subscribe. Come and join me and my beautiful chameleon family. And thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Bye. Yeah. Stepping in the spa like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah. Talk of the city with the party. Always getting praised like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do about it?